Tripura and Sikkim are eight states located in the northeast of the country. The landscape, the range of communities, and geographical and ecological diversity make these states quite different from other parts of the country. They are known as eight siblings and referred to as eight sisters or seven sisters and one brother. The states have distinct cultures and multiple ethnic groups and are a fine example of unity and diversity. Among all the specialties of the Northeast, one of the eye-catching highlights is its colorful traditional dresses adorned by its people. Every state has attires that evoke thousands of years of history and tradition, thereby complementing the beauty of its unique culture. Designs, accessories, colors, and patterns all fuse into magnificent crafts that exude the soul of northeastern states. So we bring to you a list of such costumes that look simply phenomenal and beautiful. Let us look at Assam. We already know that Assam is a very rich and beautiful place to visit. It is amazing and attractive destinations, luring attractions, beautiful landscapes, and diversity in activities, and other things like food. Apart from all this, there is one more thing that has drawn attention of many. Yes, we are talking about the traditional dresses of Assam. Representing the essence of stage culture, we have beautiful young lady and gentlemen wearing beautiful dresses of Assam. A man is wearing a dhoti, which is worn on the lower half of the body, while gamusa is a wide rectangular piece of cloth. The gamusa is used for various purposes, from wiping one's body to wearing it as a waistcoat. It can also be offered to someone as a mark of respect. The lady here is wearing a Mekela chador, which is the traditional dress for women. This is a two-piece cloth, similarly worn as a sari. The upper piece is called chador, and the lower piece is called Mekela. Apart from Dhoti and Mekela Chador, there are other dresses of Assam. Let us, let us look at some of the tribes of Assam. Boro tribe. Boro tribe is the largest minority group of the state. The Boro community is considered to be the most traditionally and culturally rich community of the state. They are also known to be the earliest settlers, settlers in Assam. Like most other tribes, the Boro community has from the waist down to the knee. The lady is seen wearing a dokna, which is wrapped around cloth, and the cloth runs from chest down to the ankles. Dokna is accompanied by jumra, which is a scarf used by the women. Arona is another traditional item possessing great cultural significance. It is a traditional scarf and it is a sign of love and respect. So Boro people use it to welcome the guest as a gift. Next coming is a Karbi tribe, which is worn from waist to knee. And Vamkok, which is a traditional Karbi belt. It is used to tie the pinny tight at the waist. And a distinct ornament that Kabi women wear around the neck is leg. Legs are made of coins and colorful beads. And the Kabi traditional dress for men consists, consists of choy, which is a jacket worn by men. Teams, there is extensive use of zigzag lines, stripes, and floral patterns. In fact, it is also interesting to know that most of these figures are not drawn without meaning. The straight line patterns seen on the traditional dress of the Adi tribe are symbolic meaning of the strict and disciplined lifestyle. The woman here is wearing a red around skirt, accessorized with a belt known as banyok. Beautiful spacious bags made of woven textiles are also common among Adis. Adi men is wearing hand-woven jackets known as Adi Gabuk and also proudly carrying the traditional dance and dance bamboo forest as well as its rich customs and culture. It is rightly stated 
that your culture is your brand and the people of the state of Mizoram take this saying too seriously with the kind of contribution they have made over the years in keeping the culture of the state alive by means of the dresses. Just like any other northeastern stage of the country, the traditional dresses worn by people of Mizoram are no different.